Bonjour, welcome to Tranquility Du Jour TV. And tonight I wanted to share with you my latest obsession. There's always something kind of new and exciting, but for the past, I'd say year, and I think I can trace it back to walking down Congress, South Congress Street in Austin, Texas, and falling in love with this gorgeous kind of beaded necklace that I got for $35. It was from the maybe 40s or 50s that this whole kind of vintage obsession has come about. And along with it is this whole idea of actually bringing in not just vintage pieces, but also pieces that were purchased last season and people no longer want, and they would in turn rather pass them along. And to me, like, how can we be as green as possible? And that's something that has been really important to me with tranquility. But to take it a step further, by actually being so green that we're not actually making new things. Now, of course, Tranquility will continue to make new, beautiful bamboo clothing, but it reminds me of just what we did with Tranquil Space whenever we were doing the build-out back in 08. What we did is rather than taking a lot of stuff to the dump and then buying new green materials is we reused a lot of things. So you'll see shelves of the studio that are floor joists from the upper levels and we had to redo the flooring. So to me, it's kind of the same idea with clothing. So what we're going to be doing is adding in some hand-picked items that I get at yard sales in West Virginia, flea markets in Paris whenever I get back there next year. And then of course what I've done is a lot of purchasing in DC resale shops and New York resale shops. So like this fabulous necklace, I got for, I don't know, maybe $14 at a New York resale shop and they're little faux pearls and a uh, little silk ribbon, love it. And this dress I picked up at Secondi. It's a vintage replica, it says, and um, silk. And then I just love the pleatings and I love the fit. It's just so sweet. And I also wanted to show you some of the pieces that we've just put up on the website at tranquility.com under Vintage Reclaimed. And it's funny, I've been a secondhand shop girl for like years. And really before it was cool, I did it because it was economical. So I remember ninth grade, my prom dress was this hideous pink and white stripe, like vertical stripes, at least it wasn't horizontal, but vertical stripes with like this big lace thing that you pull down over your shoulders. Yeah, and Jessica McClintock, as I mentioned, and so that was like whenever I just decided like, wow, I mean, secondhand is just fabulous because I'd gotten it in Texas, so of course no one else is wearing it in Oklahoma, and it was from a few seasons before, and it was probably like $30. So I also, before I move in to show you some of the pieces, I wanted to share with you this great new book that I picked up that I'm actually going to be working on and a sewing lesson over the weekend, and it's called Little Green Dresses and 50 original patterns for repurposed dresses, tops, skirts, and more. And what's so cool about this is she even has this beautiful kind of peacoat jacket made from an old sheet. So really, really great. And I've been in touch with Tina Sparkles and we'll be interviewing her for the podcast. So you'll get more scoop later. But I hope to be doing a lot more of this and putting them up on my Etsy shop, which now currently just has copies of my books. So really excited to take this creative endeavor further and also just repurposing things, repurposing things from my closet, things that I find, and I hope that you too will resonate with it. So the first thing I wanted to show was this darling little vintage top that I picked up that is just super sweet. And I picture it worn with leggings or jeans, dark denim jeans, really, really sweet. This skirt, so this is not my size, this is a, it's a, well, it's a medium. For some reason I thought it was a large, but it's a, it just looks big. But it's a medium, so sweet, so big, poofy, pink ball gown, and I couldn't pass it out in New York. Even though it's not something I could wear, I knew that somebody had to have that. So that's one of the pieces, and of course these pieces, there's just one of each of them, so as they sell, they go. Um, this I adored. This is actually made in Italy, but a little little pea coat, and it's red, which I never wear red, but I thought somebody would. And then this beautiful slip, long slip, and oh, and it sticks to all of my glitter letters. <laughs> and this darling little short slip. So I love lacy things. I just think they're so fun, especially for me because I live in a uniform, so to speak, of 
black leggings and black cami, black bandeau bra. And by putting things like that over, it just makes me feel like a little more put together. This was a great find also. This beautiful beaded, it's a 1950s bag that I picked up in New York. I loved this necklace, just full of like sparkly baubles. And then of course the owl necklace, which is like so sweet, so cute and tons of them on Etsy. And I found one in my mother's jewelry box that I raided when I was home in May. This beautiful owl, owl a macrame that my grandmother had made that I've been wearing nonstop. And then the last thing I wanted to show is what I actually did in sewing class last week. This is my upcycled skirt. So it's basically this slip. Mom had two from the 70s, one that was a small, one that was like a medium large. So I took the medium large, we took it in, and then we added this vintage lace that my mother gave me that she had picked up at a yard sale for like a dollar and added two different layers of lace over the black lace that was already there. So just a sweet little slip that was just hanging out in my mother's, my mother's armoire, not being utilized, and turned it into a little dress, basically. So really sweet, and I love the idea of just taking all these repurposed items and kind of pulling them together in a way that's totally uniquely you, because no one else is going to have something like this, because no one else is going to pull it together in the way that you would. So I hope that you also are inspired by the idea of upcycling and the idea of repurposing. So thanks so much for watching Tranquility Du Jour TV and stop by our new vintage reclaimed page at tranquility.com. Thanks a lot.